What's up guys, I hope you're enjoying Saturday. In this video we're talking about Chumbi and unfortunately we've got a lot of bad things to talk about. They completely screwed up and they completely lost me as well. Unfortunately it's going to be a very sad video. Um, they make mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake and from an inv investor's point of view it's just not going to be good anymore. I really like Chumbi at the start. Uh, I, I, had, I bought in on the Mythic NFT, like the Mythic Seed and the Legendary Seed. I bought the tokens. At the start, I really liked it. I felt I had a lot of potential and I still do. Like, I don't want to just talk about shit about the project only. Uh, I think it really looks cute. I, I think this would be a really good game. If I would have been a little bit younger, maybe uh, I could justify playing a game like that. Or maybe if I had more time in my hands, I would start playing it. I think it's going to be very cool. It's going to be a good game. But for an investor's point of view, um, there's just no point being involved with Chumbi anymore whatsoever because it's just going to make you lose money. And, you know, even though we might like the project, we're not going to invest in a project just for the sake of liking it. We still want to make money out of it. And as of a while back, that's just going to be impossible. The NFTs uh, obviously have been revealed. Floor price is sitting very stable. It's, it's holding strong. Volume traded is quite a lot. There's no volume really anymore lately, but the volume is, is decent, right? From before. Um, this is the floor price from the, the cheapest ones, of course, and then you have the more expensive one. One thing I find um, weird, something that has changed a lot, which is one of the things that they should have done differently. They just, the devs of the project, they have no clue what they're doing, really. It just doesn't make sense anymore. Um, so mythic seeds were the, the rare ones right they were the special ones you had 400 seeds of this um out of the 4100 4096 floor price of the seeds when they weren't revealed yet were uh five ethereum went up every once in a while went down a little bit but on average five ethereum now this is sitting at three point or two point three eight right people just start undercutting each other where they should have kind of hold that line really most of the times the more legendary the special ones go up so the floor price is going up but the floor price of the mythic one the, the special ones is going down because there's now so many different things the void are the special ones the mini are the special ones the shiny are the special ones uh yes yeah, shiny uh, this is the same one that i had but then um ch shiny so uh but even these right so this is a mythic seed a special seed this is a void one which is supposed to be the stronger one and it's a shiny this one should be according to the, the original price of the mythic seeds of five ethereum this should be seven plus but instead of going up in price in value it's actually going down so somebody that bought the seed for five ethereum uh, is gonna have to sell this at a loss if he wants you know or you just keep it wait until whenever but if you want to at some point you know make money move again then you want to you're going to sell this as a loss i sold mine nobody even wanted to buy it i've been trying to sell it for ages posted in the group undercutting people undercutting 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 and eventually i sold it for 2.2 ethereum bought it for five right bad move probably should keep it you shouldn't take you know you haven't lost money until you sell but um yeah, it's just not gonna do anything here this is me here from you so yesterday there were three sales uh on a on the 17th there were three sales yesterday there were five pre average prices long like there's no volume anymore here sure during development stages so sometimes you know it goes up and down a little bit with with volume makes sense but the price just doesn't make sense in sense anymore people are just undercutting each other i just want to get rid of it because my money is better spent somewhere else i can just wait until um they come up with the breeding which is what we'll talk about a little bit they're going to come up with the the free airdrop of nfts right you get free of four nfts airdrop to you when you hold one of the nfts which is one of the reasons i got rid of it because there's no value in that and it's not going to do anything it's just a sad little nothing to be honest but there's no money to be made on the nfts but they are cool to use later on in the uh in the game right if you want to wait for the game if you want to do the breeding and all that stuff in that case yes it makes sense in any other case it doesn't make sense whatsoever so um then you have the staking right that, that's that's the first thing that's the nfts there's no no money to be made anymore in the nfts nobody wanted to buy mine i was sitting under the floor price for ages right but floor people just kept undercutting each other undercutting each other and undercutting each other there's no volume anymore on the higher sales only the cheaper ones i think that most people investing in this project don't really have much money i think the people but that's that's like that's just me thinking i don't know whether that's true or not 
But I've seen people who are like from the board A group and I've seen people that, you know, we're talking about, you know, bigger numbers. They just selling these things at the last. They don't want to get in in anymore because I think they understand it's not really good from an investor's point of view anymore. The people that are really in it and the people that are in that discord that are very happy and still backing up all the, the projects and the things, they just like the project. It's like a bit of a cult that's going on in there. Um, the people that, you know, as soon as you say something that's wrong with it, everybody just starts going at you. But like, no, you have this bullshit. You don't know what you're talking about. They're, they're all brainwashed because they just like the project that much. But when they look at it from an investor point of view, as you can't justify investing in Chumbi anymore right now. You can't really justify holding it anymore. The only one justification would be, I don't want to sell at a loss. All right, but then you have opportunity cost, which means by holding something, even though you might have to sell at a loss, you're also missing out on other opportunities. So even though I had to sell this at a massive loss, because I bought this at five, so I bought a legendary one as well. I sold that one right after the review. I think I had like 0 0.4 profit because I had a decent one. Sold this straight away, 0 0.4 profit on it. Um, and at that point, there was a lot of volume. There was a lot of hype that must have been somewhere here, I'm gonna assume. Um, yeah, probably that would have been here. Well, it's not even that much volume. I thought there was a lot of volume. Probably was here, right, this, this area. Um, but even though I have to sell this one at a 2.8 Ethereum loss, then I also pay, paid uh, transaction fees and, and whatever on it, of course. So I'll probably have like a three Ethereum loss on this. I'm gonna be able to use this two Ethereum somewhere else a lot better. I'm gonna be able to spend this money on something that's gonna actually make me money rather than just sitting here waiting until potentially the breeding is gonna do something and whatever, but I don't see any of that happening. So then you have the staking. Well, that's probably the biggest mistake they've ever made, right? People that pretend like they've staked it and it was a good decision, it's definitely not. It's not at all in any way. So again, massive, massive miss because they kind of just fooled everybody. They probably didn't think it through, so they didn't do their math themselves. They didn't do it properly. They didn't They didn't um, consider the, the way it was going, so they, they just made a mistake there. But this is what happened, right? You had three months, uh, one, yeah, three months, six months, and 12 months of staking. When I did the video, I was very bullish. I was very excited. I was like, oh man, this is like a good setup. I staked the tokens. We talked about it. I staked it for six months. It was the first time I ever staked something for long, so I didn't put in that much. I put in around $5,000 or a little bit less. I was sitting at the time, it was around 10 cents, so it was $4,700 that I put in. Um, and the rewards were going up a lot. So. What happened was this, right? They have a certain amount of tokens that they're allowed. It was in the smart contract. They have a certain amount of tokens they can give out to the staking contract. So people decided to stake it for uh, three, six or 12 months. The, the longer one had higher APR, of course, and it was slowly going down. APR was massive, was like a lot. Uh, at the start, it was like 18,000% APR, which means you earn a massive amount of tokens because, um, because when APR is that high, you accumulate a whole lot of tokens, right? And then slowly it was going down. Why did APR go down? Because more tokens were staked. So APR goes down, the more tokens are staked, which was a formula that they calculated in. Either they just didn't do the math, math properly and they didn't under, they didn't think it through, or they just didn't, they, they thought more people would have staked. So what happened is around, I think it was 86 million tokens were staked at that time. APR was still sitting at like 13,000, 14,000%. So that was two days in already, right? You could gauge the APR trend, downward trend. You could gauge it of how many tokens were staked, how fast people were staking, and you can make a calculation based off that. So I decided to stake $5,000 for six months by looking at how many tokens were staked for the past two days, which is the most hyped moment because that's when the staking is just released. So the most amount of people will stake at that time. You already knew that it was going to slow down a little bit, less and less and less people would stake it. Eventually, you would hit a ceiling and that's not really going to happening that much more anymore. Everybody is going to stake now that they're just being fooled massively. So at that time, we knew APR was still very high and we knew APR was going down very slowly. So we knew that even though maybe APR would go to the minimum because they did announce a minimum, which was 100, 150, 200%, we knew that it was going to take a very long time before it would hit that minimum and we would benefit from a very high APR for a long time. So even though the token would go down over time, by getting that many tokens back for it, it would have been worth it probably. So you made a calculation based off that, right? 
Then I staked it for one day or two days, something like that. Um, I doubled my tokens, which was awesome. The token was still sitting roughly at the same. I think it was going down. It went down to like eight cents instead of 10. So it was 20% drop. But I had like 54,000 tokens. At, I haven't actually looked at it anymore ever since. So in the first two days, roughly, I earned 54,000 tokens because APR was so high. No, 51,000 tokens, that's correct. The last time I checked, it was 51,000 to tokens. It was like three days later, right? Um, when I checked it two days later, when they changed the announcement, it was like 47,000 chumbi that I earned, something like that. So I did I did double my tokens in a couple of days. They found out, shit, not, not enough people are staking. Shit, we made a, uh, a calculation mistake or whatever. Um, somebody calling me. I'm a popular guy these days. So... They made a uh, mistake in calculating what they've done. They suddenly announced and changed the rules and they just brought back the APR to what the original statement was the, or the minimum was. They said, they never said that it was definitely going down to this number. No, they said that this was the minimum and it was going down gradually based of the calculate, based of the formula that was about how many people staked. They found out, shit, people are going to earn way too many tokens. Which makes sense. Why does it make sense? Well, because if I would have had this number of to uh, if this this amount of tokens staked, and there's probably people that stake more, it was sitting at ten cents at that time. Now it's go it's going down. I don't, definitely don't see this number going up anymore at all. So everybody that staked that you just lost your money, right? You're gonna have to wait three or another two months, another five months, another eleven months for nothing. You're just gonna get nothing back, and then you gotta you gotta be very quick with clicking because everybody's gonna dump it, and then it, this is probably going to like I don't know fucking one cent or something um but they realized that people were earning too much because i earned like forty thousand tokens in a couple of days so by the end of my six months i would have had hundreds of thousands of tokens and i would dump it at once so i would out of nowhere dump all my tokens when this releases and then of course the price is gonna crash they probably realized that and were like, fuck, we got to change something. So they changed the rules and they just, I don't know where, bang, they went from 9,000% APR that was still at or 11,000 APR, or whatever, a massive amount APR that was at, at that time. They just straight, straight away brought it down to, I don't know, the next day was 3,000, then it was 300, and then the third day, bang, it was this. And now you're not earning anything anymore. We're like X amount of weeks further and yeah this is just not worth it the price is going down so why the hell would you stake it this is just not earning anything but if they would have said that beforehand i would have never staked it you stake it with the information you have at hand at that time right we're doing videos on x2 y2 right now which has a high apr staking i've staked money in there we've done videos on that and whatnot um if you're interested in somewhere where you can actually stake and make money on it where it's legit watch those videos even looks right would be a, still a better option now if, if any of those projects would tell me now, yeah, you can stake it, but in two days, it's just gonna drop out of nowhere, well, then you don't stake it, right? But you stake it according to the formula that's at hand right now. And they just cha change the rules, so they screwed people over because nobody would have staked. Most people with a brain wouldn't have staked if they uh, knew this beforehand, but you didn't know that beforehand, that's why you staked it, and then after that, they changed, all right? Long story short here, uh, the staking was a m massive, massive mistake of them they just should have never done that they should have allowed people to unstake it again when they changed the rules and i they didn't because they know that a 90 percent minimum of everybody would have unstaked it taken it out price would have crashed so they just thought you know what we'll just lock it in there and screw people over for three six or 12 months price is down tokens are going into circulating supply i think that there's a section somewhere in the light paper where we can check the tokenomics we know that right now, um, other people will be dumping their tokens on the staked ones. So the ones that actually tried to like benefit themselves, obviously, but also indirectly, you know, you help the project by staking your tokens for this long. Those people are now being screwed over by the ones that are going to be able to dump their tokens because the people that staked it, they can't dump. Here's the first thing. So we're in Q1 right now. So the private sale is getting their tokens released block by block. So they can dump their tokens on the ones that have it staked right now at a very low APR. Then the airdrop is coming through. This is the community airdrop that's coming through here. And then the airdrop of the NFT sale airdrop is coming later on. This has already been, of course, the initial exchange offering on KuCoin. 
they get their tokens slowly as well so they can consistently continue dumping their tokens extra tokens and circulating supply liquidity that's that's just liquidity the team so the team will get their tokens uh, end of the q1 so they will get their first tokens probably before these people which has definitely been done strategically set up by them exactly this way so they can quickly still yeah here reward date 13th of july so these guys will probably get it on the first of june i'm going to assume i don't know if there's exact date on it but here it's like start of q3 probably first of uh, first of july or like 31st of june something like that they can quickly dump their tokens gain a bit of money and then this price will go down even further because there's going to be more tokens in circular and supply and then these guys will have barely anything left all right next one advices same thing they can start dumping their tokens here play to earn all right that's that's for the game the marketing and then staking something else strategic release they've already announced that <laughs> what they've said is yeah we've thought about it and we talked to the community we want to do what's in the best interest of the project la -de -la -de -la. so what we've decided is we've taken down the apr we bring it down and we've already planned in a new staking for after this i'm super 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 curious to see how many tokens they're going to be staked um, after that this is done and they do a new staking one everybody with a bit of common sense would never stake any of this for this project anymore ever again the only ones that will are like chumby crazy chumby in love because they just like the project that much and they're like part of, part of that cult cult right look i'm talking very negative here about the project but they just make mistake after mistake after mistake I, like i can't i can't just lie because i like the game if the the development team if the the team behind it is just doing very dumb stuff then it just you know i'm gonna have to be honest here and you know they've just lost me they lost a lot of people we talked about it with other people that were invested in it and you know everybody with a bit of knowledge about anything they understand that this doesn't make sense at all then another thing that we've talked about a lot here you have like the where is it ideas and feedback section one thing that keeps coming back is the airdrop in tokens right and that's supposed to be yeah it's like rules of open sea we couldn't do it otherwise so they're gonna release millions and millions of tokens towards people that had that minted that already uh released it uh how do you say that they might have already sold their nfts after the mint for profit and they get like tokens released as well so we talked about that i'm not going to do the whole calculation for you because it depends on the token price but we did the token price when it was sitting at 10 cents so we did the calculations at 10 cents the people that minted a mythic so the 400 mythic that are there the people that minted the mythic um at the time of 10 cents they would get thirty-two thousand dollars airdropped to them in tokens per mythic at 10 cents so right now that is uh eight thousand dollars still at this price <clears throat> and this price there's nothing left right i think what was the ideal price was what was the ideal price um isn't that in here initial price token price uh yeah, listing price once oh, okay, so now it's still a little bit higher one cent, but it's going back to IDO price. I think this is not gonna keep up. It is going back at one point to the IDO price and probably below. <laughs> That's just sad. That just means that you have done so many things wrong. We talk shit about soul chicks all the time. Uh and you know, I was talking shit about soul chicks and I was talking about how Chummy Valley did it better. There's even one video, Chummy Valley versus Soul Chicks, and I was talking about how Chummy Valley did it better. And right now they're just going towards the same reputation as soul chicks they're just screwing up one mistake after the other but every single person with a uh so you want me to like open up a excel sheet for you every single person um here we'll go for the x2y2 list this one here this is a calculation that we did on staking x2y2 i've uh earned myself a bit of money in one day i've like got more than 10 percent of tokens in one day there and it's all legit and usable but eight thousand dollars times 400 seeds at current price is that right that is if you want to check out the proper number here we go uh and then we take away the dot here we go 3.2 million dollars is what they're throwing out away to people that minted a mythic that's only the mythic that's not taking all the other ones at the current rate so you can imagine what's going to happen to the token price when they suddenly airdrop 3.2 million dollars I don't know the calculation of the other ones. We just didn't done this one, and this is enough information. They then drop also, uh, where is it? There's 4,100, right? So if you want to know how much of all of them there are, it's pretty simple. 
and this video is just kind of, I'm just kind of giving shit to this project, but I'm giving you fact after fact after fact why this project is, it's not gonna make you any money anymore. So if you're really looking at this, it's not financial advice, just my personal opinion, but maybe look into things a little bit and see for yourself what you can still earn in the future. So $400, uh, sorry, 400 of these, which is $3.2 million. Then there's 800 of these, 1,200 of these, and 1,696 of these. They all get airdrops as well. So I don't know how much this is, but $4 million, $5 million, $6 million will be airdropped to these people that minted it that might not even, you know, know the whole Chumbi game anymore. They might just sell it and they don't even have to deal with anything with it anymore. They're all going to drop their tokens. So this number is going to go, they're all going to dump it here. They're all going to dump it on the stakers, and this is going to go down even more um what else is there well they said that the um, the chumbi valley or it's the the minters would get the airdrop because it was in this that it couldn't do it otherwise because it had to do with terms like a dish of open sea just bullshit right massive massive bullshit you can work your way around that you can change things a lot and if you can't change it then just don't do the airdrop right we talked about this a lot and yes it makes sense to reward early investors and reward them a lot but don't reward them that much that you just screw everybody else up and fuck up the whole project. Then it doesn't make sense anymore, right? You want to reward them by all means. Reward them, reward them. Give them everything they deserve, but do it in a way that other people aren't affected by it, right? Well, that's one. That's another one. And then um, I think that that's most of the information that I have for now. There was something else I think I wanted to mention. But, um, oh, yeah, this, this was the NFT drop, right? So they got four NFTs. One is this 20 second here. So I didn't even wait for this. I sold it today. <laughs> I sold my NFT today uh, for 2.2 Ethereum. Finally, uh, I could have waited three days for the NFT. Like, I don't even care anymore. Like, maybe it's going to be worth a little bit, but not enough for me to hold it. And it doesn't even matter anymore. So there's four NFTs, 22nd, 15th, 5th, and 26th. They do air, uh, snapshots at this time, and then you get an NFT. What do you get? A part remnant, no utility. S legendary. Uh, rare, epic, and mythic, they all get the same thing. Yes, they get a little bit of a different rarity to it. Um, here there's different rarity, here there's different rarity. But other than that, they all get the same. So there's not that much difference in people holding uh, a mythic one or not. Broken remnants of a pot uh, that a seed chum be hatched from. The pot rem remnants are known to attract butterflies to the area. This item can be placed in your forest home, world, or chumby village land plot. That's it. So just kind of looks cool or something in your area when you have like your little piece of land and it just looks cool. Second one is a name tag. So yes, that's utility because you can change the name of your Chumbi. So it doesn't really, that's not really any utility uh, apart from the nickname of it. Chumbi Trill. Um, the Chumbi will be the envy of the forest with dazzling trill. The Chumbi Trill can be equipped to any Chumbi and will add a special glowing effect trailing behind them and any walk. So there's no utility there either. And then the nimble boots makes you walk faster, so you walk faster. This is the only one that actually gives a utility. Of course, that one is the last one. When you're playing the game, it's the same when you play Pokemon back in the days. So you had like the bike. You could finally have a bike, and you go around to like quicker. Well, yeah, there's definitely, definitely utility there. That's very valuable. Um, so that does make sense. But then you're you're gonna have to wait until the 26th of April. Well, fuck. I've already tripled my money that I put in my seed by then. So why the hell wait for these damn nimble boots, right? So that's all I have for you guys. I can just continue giving this project shit here all the time, but I think you get the point. They lost me, um, and I'm not like salty or anything. I just don't have anything positive to say anymore. Yes, I like the way it looks. Um, I don't necessarily like the look of these. I think, you know, it makes sense the way they're going to look in. This would never be a profile picture, but I definitely understand the overall view of this, of the game, and the way the game is going to, you know, what the game is going to look like. And here, when you see the forest background on it, yeah, 100%. Awesome. I think that this game is going to be fun playable. It's going to be awesome playable. I think the team is definitely doing a good job on that side. They just don't care about the investors, or at least they're not focusing on the investors and investors can't make money. That is enough to talk about Chumbi for today. Please let me know in the comments down below, though, if you think I'm too harsh on this project or if you think I'm right and whether you're in Chumbi still, yes or no. I wish them all the best. They just kind of lost me along the way, unfortunately, because there's no money to be made with Chumbi. And I'm still looking at things from an investor's point of view rather than just me liking the game or not. So that's the main reason I don't like being involved with Chumbi anymore for the money reasons. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you in the next video.